Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question and perform a demo. What is FastPass property in flat file source? What are the requirements and limitations to use this property? So FastPass uh, property in the flat file source is a property that ignores the validation for some specific uh, uh, columns uh, which has the data type such as uh, uh, integer or a date or time so though if the data type is uh, integer date or time uh, we can set this property on those columns uh, and it will will ignore the validation part of that so once it ignore it it will uh, make uh, the process fast and we can uh, read the records quickly as compared to with the normal flat file source properties where it has to validate all those columns now let's go and take a look what i have here i have a table that called total sale and id is a unique identifier and i have sale person that's worker and then i have sale that that data type of uh, uh, this uh, sale column is float and then i have sale data the data type is the data so i have this table created uh, from this file this file is really big. Uh, it is a. Uh, it has more than 26 million uh, records. Uh, so it is going to take some time to show up. Uh, let me uh, bring this file, and I can show you the properties. So you can see that it has ID, sale person name, sale, and uh, sale date. So th that's how the file is uh, looking like. What we are we need to do? We need to load this file uh, to the. Uh, this. Uh, total sale table let's go and perform uh, the loading uh, with normal properties uh, without making any changes and then uh, we will enable a uh, fast passing on some columns uh, and uh, perform the load again and make a comparison uh, how ba how better or how, how fast uh, the load process uh, will be with the fast passing so let's close this file now go to ssdt sql server data tool or bids and create a package uh, first of all as we need to read the data from the flat file we need to have a data flow task where we can use the sources and destinations so here we will be using a flat file source let's configure the flat file source and create a connection manager so double click on the flat file source and then hit new for the connection manager hit browse and then uh, we have a folder uh, here it's called input folder and the file is there called sale file and then the first uh, row has uh, the column names so I'm gonna click that one and it is a common limited file go to columns and we can see some of the data now go to advance uh, and uh, change the data type of the columns uh, according to the destination uh, table so we have a, a unique identifier worker float and date uh, for these uh, columns so let me change that one id we should be having unique identifier then next the sale person name is a worker 50 i'm going to make them 100 so it will be exactly like our destination in the sale what i have it is a string right now i'm going to change to this uh, this one to float so let me change this one to float so it's called uh, dt underscore r4 uh, double precision or you can uh, have a I'm gonna just change to the r4 that's float now we have sale date and we can change this one to dt underscore date here we are all set uh, with our data types now and the uh, hit ok and uh, if you want to get the uh, N uh, blank values as null you can hit this one so let's click that one now we have columns and hit ok next part is uh, we are loading this uh, data to the destination that's uh, uh, OLADB destination uh, we are going to use to load the data to the SQL server table click here new connection and uh, I have already created the connection you can uh, go ahead and create a new one by providing SQL server name and database here I'm going to select the fast load so uh, we do not want to have a table or view that's a slow uh, insert processor and we want to have a fast load so that we want to uh, insert the data as a bulk load 
uh, here I'm not making any changes like rows per batch of maybe 10,000, 20,000 or 100,000. I don't care about that. And max insert commits as I'm leaving this one to default. So I want this uh, to work as it is. Uh, uh, the goal is not to ch uh, change the things on the destination, but uh, change the things on the flat file source so we can check the fast passing properties. So go to mapping uh, after selecting uh, the table. Uh, the table is not there because we didn't create table yet. Let's create the table. Now the table should be available there. So we, we might have to come back and refresh it because uh, we just created a table and it's not uh, showing up in the drop down. So now we can see the table here and keeping everything as it is. I'm not making any change because we are checking for the property of fast passing not um, by making modification on the OLEDB destination so we can improve the performance on the destination. We are looking for check the performance of the source side. So here uh, we, mm, the columns are mapped correctly as the names are exactly the same on the uh, source side and the destination side. So hit OK. Now I'm going to run this package. Let's run this package. As it has a, a lot of records, uh, 26 million records, uh, it's going to take some time. And uh, what I will do, instead of uh, let you guys wait here um, for two minutes or something, uh, I might uh, stop the video and come back uh, while this video will get complete. So we have start time here. When the package will complete, uh, we will have end time as well. So we are not making any changes here. Uh, I'm not running any other process. Whatever the pr process running right now, I'm, I will not close any of them just to make sure there is nothing, no change uh, on the server side um, uh, with these uh, processes. So I'm gonna stop the video and come back uh, and uh, show you when once this will be done. Welcome back and uh, what happened the all the records uh, from flat file uh, there are 26 million some uh, um, hundred thousands of uh, records on the top of that uh, they are loaded to the OLEDB destination uh, that's a SQL server table we are using in the OLEDB destination so let's go to the table and uh, just take a count of them so let's take a count make sure these many records are loaded correctly select count star from table UNT here now we can see that these are the number of records loaded uh, from the flat file to the table let's go and check one more thing we need to get from here we need to get uh, this information so we want to see the time taken by this uh, package so copy that part as well and here so we can see that the total time is uh, taken is 1 minute 50 seconds uh, to load these uh, records. Now let's go back and uh, uh, first uh, truncate the table and make the changes in the um, package. So we can enable fast passing. Go here and then uh, stop the package. Let's go to the file uh, flat file source uh, advanced editor. And here we will go to input and output properties and then we will go here in the output columns and for sale here we will uh, set the property for fast pass to true. Same thing we will do for the sale date. One thing is confusing even a sale person ID is the worker it is given us the capability to change it. That, that's uh, going to create a problem uh, if we will enable that one it will throw an error but uh, see this property shouldn't be there if uh, this is not available for these uh, data types so, but uh, the property is there uh, now it's your choice you know you want to play with it and uh, get the error and uh, fix it but uh, you have to have uh, uh, enable this property for the columns uh, which are integers or uh, they are date or time so for our case we have sale and sale date so i enable those properties here hit ok now let's read on the package again and see how much time it will take so what i'm going to do i'm going to stop the video one more time and uh, once it will be done i will come back
come back one more time and here we are with the uh, loading uh, process completed so we have loaded more than 26 million records when uh, we have done the fast passing enable on sale and sale date column so let's go to the progress uh, and take a look uh, so it took uh, one minute and 38 seconds uh, copy this one and let's go to the SSMS uh, and make a comparison so let's paste it here this uh, number what we have uh, 1 minute and 50 seconds uh, it took uh, when fast passing was not enabled and uh, it took 1 minute and 38 seconds uh, when fast passing was enabled so we can see the difference of uh, 12 seconds uh, even uh, it uh, it is just a small comparison for a couple of minutes load uh, and if your uh, load is going to be really big uh, and uh, that take um, think about like it take a 20 minutes 30 minutes uh, so this uh, time can really make a big difference uh, so uh, by enabling fast passing the load process is going to be loaded uh, and perform better and one thing you will want you want to remember uh, your uh, the source from where you creating those files uh, you should have some trust uh, in those sources uh, like such as uh, maybe you are creating file from a SQL server table Oracle table DB2 and uh, you always uh, have that trust like okay the, the, the data type define on those tables from where which uh, these file will be created uh, they match uh, with the data type uh, or the formats uh, the fast passing uh, can accept so you you have some formats uh, for dates such as uh, this is the format it accepts uh, this is the format uh, it accepts uh, for hours uh, and minutes uh, uh, for such as the co uh, time columns uh, it has a specific formats uh, for the more detail on integer data type formats uh, you can go on microsoft website and take a look so uh, I have done some experiments. Uh, the performance is sometimes it's eight percent, sometimes it's ten percent. Uh, but it depends. Uh, once uh, you run it uh, after fast passing enable, you will see the performance will be much better for the load uh, from the flat file uh, source. So, so do some experiments on your system and see what you get. Thanks very much for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video.